everyone. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Laravel to develop an online chat room. This is a very common application that you have been using, I think, for a long time. It's not a, not a new concept at all. The idea is just to show you how we can use Laravel to develop such mature product. There are a couple of applications or tools we need as part of the, the Lara application itself to support this kind of feature. So one thing is a Lara echo server. So this is a application that we can use for broadcasting. So for example, if I send a message to application, our application, the echo server will help us to broadcast to the different guests or users in the same room. Besides the Laravel echo server, we also need Redis. The Redis server is used as a broadcast driver and uh, the Laravel queue worker for the queue connection management. If you look into Laravel official documentation, especially the broadcast section or chapter, you will also see multiple different alternatives to the Laravel echo server or Redis. I'm not going to use those options. So the essentially Laravel echo server is pretty much open source and free for usage. So this is a very good option for experiment and uh, demonstration purpose. So now let's start. Firstly, we need to install Redis. Feel free to, to search Redis and uh, find the download link and uh, install in your local environment. I have already installed, so I'm not going to do it again. Secondly, you, we need to install Laravel Echo Server. What is Laravel Echo Server? Let me show you. So this is a socket I/O server for Laravel Echo, essentially for broadcasting. This is a Node.js server, so you you can use npm install -g Laravel Echo server to install the application. After that, you can use init to initialize your, your local server. After the execution, you will have a Laravel echo server.json file in the root directory of your project or where you execute the init command. Unless you want to customize that's pretty much everything you need to do. Then you can use Laravel echo server start command to, to launch a server. That's pretty much it. Okay, so this is an echo server. Now, let me show you what I have in my local environment. Actually, I have already started both of them. Let me stop them. Firstly, let me start the Redis server. Before I start the Laravel Echo server, I'll show you some configuration. Firstly, this is a project I've been using for multiple videos, Laravel Web 3. I'm going to use it for the video today in .env. We need to look into a couple of items. Firstly, the broadcast driver I just mentioned. We are going to use Redis for, as a broadcast driver. So it's Redis. And the queue connection is also managed by Redis. The rest of items are all Redis related. The host, password, port, client. I'm using the default configuration of Redis server. So host, localhost, port, the default one 6379. I'm using Redis client P Redis, which is used by this Lava application. So you, you can install the same by using command 
composer install p redis slash p redis it will be installed and the dependency got added to composer.json so this is the dependency added okay that's pretty much it so these are the things you need to config in the .env file okay so this is Laravel echo server sorry not I haven't introduced so this Laravel echo server JSON is the conversion file generated by the init command look into this part two items database we specify to redis and in database config we need to specify redis port and then the host uh, you can ignore the sqlite part it's not used so this is the part that may not exist in your initially generated configuration file you need to specify otherwise the laravel echo server will not use redis okay for the rest of the configuration items you can change if you're really familiar with it and uh, like to use them otherwise you can just leave them at default so this is Labora echo server now let's come back to the configuration no, terminal I use Laravel, Laravel echo server start you can see it started it's listening for HTTP events and Redis events. Server ready. Okay. Again, all these things I have introduced so far are open source, free of charge. So you can use in your experiment, day-to-day -day development. Okay. I think that's it for echo server installation. Next thing, server-side development, which is a lower application development. Now, we should look into lower official documentation, broadcasting. This is a feature we are going to use. You can see here, according to documentation, you can go through the full documentation anyway. So I'll skip to support drivers. So by default, Laravel support two server side broadcasting drivers for choose, right? Pusher and Avalib. There are also some community driver package you can use, but I'm using Redis here today. So that's why I set the broadcast driver in .env to Redis. You see here, several driver out of the box. So it's also supported. So Redis. Hmm. And uh, you can see all your application drive broadcasting configure storing config broadcasting. So this is where we need to go now. Broadcasting. So look into this configuration. You need to see here Redis, right? The, the driver Redis connection default so we have this configuration here you see here supported this is where, where we, we config right so broadcast driver in the .env that's why here we got a default redis so we are using redis now for broadcasting let's move on we are now using pusher and now we say Apply. Okay, this is a client side. We will cover soon. You see here, Laravel Echo JavaScript library um, used to manage or subscribe and listen. Subscribe to and listen for events broadcast by the server side driver. So this is what we are going to install. So Lava Echo required anyway, but Pusher we are not using, so we don't need it. You can install, but it's not needed. So let's come back to 
page. Okay, it's done. Yeah, you follow this command. Let me show you my package.json specification. Here you can see the dependency here. Install the Lara echo. This is what we need. We are not using pusher, so that dependency I didn't install. The other thing is the socket IO client, which also required. So you also need to install this one. So you need to install and then install socket IO. Pay more attention, you need the version 2.4. 0. You can put in your package.json and uh, npm install instead of specify the specific package in command and get it installed. Okay, this view package is also required later on. I'm going to talk about it soon. So it's not covered in for now. Okay. The next thing I'd like to show you pretty much it for now here. We are ready for PHP coding. So here, this is the one thing I like to talk about, the event. So every user types and sent in the chat room, it will be a message sent to the our application, the chat room application. The application will broadcast to the other audiences. Broadcast what? It's a message. So this is the message, message pushed. It will implement should broadcast interface using these three traits. So broadcast with, with what? So message, where is the message from? So the message constructor function accepts the channel ID and the message channel ID is can be specified by the requester. Okay, so this is message pushed. So this is a class I'm going to use in following the, the future development. So here is broadcast on. So we here we define the channel. There are different types of channel. You see here, private channel, present channel, and then I'm using the public channel. The channel, if you look into the constructor, so pass name. So we pass the channel ID as a name. Okay, that's it for the event. Now we have the event. Then how can we send event? We can do one thing. We can use a Laravel command. Laravel command to send the message. Okay, now let's use PHP artisan make command. We use the name send message. Right? Okay, you can see we have a command here. Let's change the signature to send message. So for now, we are going to use a command to send message and see if the web application can receive, or from the web page, we can receive. This is the first. I uh, say this uh, phase one development and uh, the command accept two parameters channel ID and the message content and the uh, description then send message to a specific channel. Okay handle now let's see how we can handle it first we need a channel id let's run the well, 
argument channel ID next thing is a message this argument message yeah we got two things now we can use the Laura provide a function broadcast to do the job for us yeah we just created this class message pushed maybe it's not a, the best name for this purpose and feel free to rename up to whatever you, you like Okay. Now I think it's done. <coughs> Sorry. Now let's see if there's anything wrong in sending message to the driver. We can use this command quickly and the C. Send message, right? Send message. Say channel, say ID 102. Message you. Okay, let's see if there's anything in the echo server. Yes, you see here channel 102, event message pushed, which means the Lavara echo server has received the event. You may be wondering what's happening here in the Reddit server. I can't remember how to monitor something like that. Hopefully, yeah. So let's see if we try the command there. Huh? You can see here, yes. So. Hmm. Looks like this is not the way we. One second, I need to. I haven't used Redis for a long time. I need to see how to monitor. Monitoring tool. Yes, this is what I'm looking for. Where is monitor? Okay, I need to, uh, I'll figure it out later and uh, I will show you in the next video. I definitely have multiple videos on this topic, so it'll make it much better. So this is just phase one, so I don't need to spend too much time on this. So now we have the message broadcast via the echo server. Now we need to build up the client side. So are coming to this section client side development client side means the web page we want to build up the web page that can listen to the broadcast receive the message displayed on the page what we can do is here firstly i'm going to introduce you inertia so this is uh, the bridge between Laravel application and uh, Vue.js. 
not only VHS. React, View, and the other modern uh, front end or single page application. In my case, I'm going to use View, so I'm talking about a bridge between View and the Laravel. Uh, if you are interested, to feel free to go through the full documentation. But I'm going to quickly go through the key points. Firstly, install the server-side dependency. So Laravel, we are doing Laravel, so it's initial JS, initial Laravel. This is what I need to install. I install actually I have already installed. I just run command for you. So look into composer JSON. Probably you're already aware yeah, just now. So this is what I installed. There are some steps you need to follow. First of the template, yes, it's pretty much uh, a thing you must do. If you have been doing the day to day application development with Lara and uh, not using Inertia, you pretty much have a, a template I show you here. Something like the app dot blade, and so this is a template we normally have. I was using live while, so you can see here there are some tags for them. Oh, so here I need to create a different template for inertia, otherwise, there will definitely be some conflict. Inertia say app blade dot so this is the layout for inertia specifically and uh, yes you definitely can add the title back here as you see there's no title which is not ideal uh, i think that's that's it and uh, i'm not sure if we have had these three metadata let me see yeah charles said and uh, viewport just no our token uh, maybe it's not needed for now. No bother adding this. So this is a template. It will be uh, remembered in the past. It will also be used shortly. Now it's the middleware set up the inertia middleware. Middleware. You see something. here so that's this one need to be added so this is the middleware we need to add to the kernel to the web middleware group so this is something we need to go kernel three we add it here is that the last item last item of the web middleware group so that's it okay the last thing is to create a controller that can create response or create initial response in our case the controller is to manage the chat room business make the controller chat room controller chat room controller here okay sounds good and uh, we copy paste make it easy and quick chat room show with the show yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. But inertia. We need to use inertia, inertia. Yeah. Inertia, inertia. Okay. And uh, we don't need any parameters. So, simple enough. Render. Chat group. I will show you what this is. So, you just need to render a view chat room. Sure. Okay. I actually I also already 
data. And then you can see here add a root here slash chat room. Chat room controller instead of function show to the chat room. Now let's See what's left in the installation. I think that's it for the server side. Now, before I launch the dev server, let's go to client side, install what's needed. So you can see here, we need to in npm install these two things, inertia and inertia v3. You can go and install. At the time and it's running, let's see the packet JSON. So in this, I just show you, right? So these two I have already installed. I just run command again to show you how to install. Anyway, they are required. As I mentioned, these two are, you will still need. So this is for the echo server, sorry, socket IO and the socket IO. View is also required. This is a mandatory as we are using view, so you have to install version 3. Pay more attention here, socket IO, you have to install 2.4.0. A higher version won't work with the Lara Echo server. This is what I have tested. So if you want to use this solution, you need to use this old version. Okay. I think that's pretty much everything for the dependency installation on both client and server side. I have already launched the npm run watch to keep up with the latest client or code change or dependency change, essentially any change. Now let's start the dev server. Okay, now let's go back to here. So this is the Lavara Visual Documentation Broadcasting. Once we have the client set installation done, we need to add some code to the JavaScript uh, part. Essentially here, it's in bootstrap.js Let's go to the source code bootstrap.js And uh, you can also feature some comment out code. Now, firstly, we need to have this one. We need to import echo. And uh, Socket IO client. Then uh, we, now we need to initialize the echo instance. Firstly, drop caster, which is socket IO, and the host. We can use the, in the location host name. We can also hard code to localhost 6001. Notice here 6001 is the port. Echo server is listening or running on. So that's what we need to use here. So the web page or client is also connecting to the Lavara echo server we are running. Okay, 
that's the configuration or initialization for echo the rest of the initialization for is for inertia it's something like this okay let's copy and uh, paste so you can see in Ampere what it's working. Yeah? Now you can see current result page is why? That's because we have no page in folder. This is the folder supposed to be the root of the inertia client side uh, component or view templates. And we have pages folder. Okay. Now we have it. Okay, so this is the setup, client side setup for echo and uh, inertia. Uh, we are nearly there. So the last thing is here. Mm, what I'm going to show you, let me see. Uh, that's the inertia. So in getting started, inertia here you can see I have already created the same controller, and uh, if you remember here, I also use inertia render to display something. So this string, if you see here. To, so the page this is called a page the page typically stored within resources js pages directory so it's a it can be a view js file so view component so users profile remember what i used chat row so here i'm going to create a uh, called chat row dot view. So this is the inertia page. Let me copy this example. It won't work, so I need to tweak a bit. And let me let me make it simple. And here head title. Change my user profile to chat group. We have no properties by using head. We are not going to use this use this layout. No layout. No layout. Hello there. Okay. And let me remove it as well. DRV. Or I'm change to H1. This is because in the let me see we have the I have no handler installed. This is interesting. Go to package. 
No, I haven't. Uh, so we need to get some support from Google. So Russia, you are in the company. Let's see what they. Actually, I have. I have it. Oh, why? Seems okay now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe my npm install calls something wrong with the npm launch. Anyway, uh, it works. So this is the old application. Okay, now this is a very good example I show you here. So you see Chatroom view app not found. Now I show you where the problem is. And initial handle initial quest. Here we see the root view. Remember I just mentioned remember the, the path of the layout. So this is the root view app. This is a word path to views. So we need to change it to layouts slash inertia app. This app dot blade dot php dot php. Let's see. Now you can see. Okay, it works. So pay more attention to this middleware you installed. You may have to change it to a customized inertia layout template if you integrate your inertia framework to the existing our application. Okay, that's I think that's it. The last thing before we finish is surely to see some message from the broadcast. We are going to do something here in the view. What is it? So we want to use echo. And uh, Join the channel 102. Remember that we can use command to send some message to some channel. So the client will listen to uh, joining channel 102. Listen to some event. We are publishing message published event, so we're listening to it. Call back in the event received. Now we can the console Let's see if it works we need to see the console now we refresh the page so if we go to the we can go to the this channel view refresh the page see here there's somebody join the channel it should be the browser if we refresh you will see again left and join refresh left and join now I can say client is connected with the server echo server 
next save is to make sure that oh one last thing I forgot before I continue. As I said we this is actually I need to use a documentation to make more queue work here. And once you complete the service side configuration or broadcast configuration in that EMV, you remember that we use queue connection set queue connection to this and then they need a queue worker to we need to run queue worker to help us in event broadcasting because all event broadcasting is done by queue jobs so that's why we need to run php artisan queue work so this is just a solution for your dev environment in production environment, you need to find an alternative way to, to run it. I'll show you in the future. In general, we need a supervisor service to manage the process, otherwise, if it's down, it's gone. The broadcasting is broken. So now let me see where were we. Oh, we want to see the message, right? Now let's go to okay. this command, send message, there. What can we see here? Yeah, you can see here, the app payload, we receive the message there. Mm, let me see the other message. Here is a book. No? You see there's a book. Cool. So we have the message in the console. Let me put it on the page. Then let's finish for today. First of all, we need to import that view. And uh, define messages. If you are not familiar with V3, feel free to check out the official documentation. So I'm not going to cover too many, many details about how to use V3 here. Switches so value push as well as using reference ref. So we need to use message dot body and push E. Remember that we have the message in the payload. So payload. Okay, instead of hello there. Now, me for message index in messages key index in text message so the div has a message is also reactive. Now let's come back to the page refresh. Blah, 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 blah. Sounds wrong. Let me see. And is there anything wrong? Mm. Let me see what's wrong right there. Yeah, not found.
Okay. So we need to use a bracket import from view to get the graph function. That's the fix to the issue. Now you can see there's a book. There's another book. Okay. I think that's pretty much it for today. It's a oh, nearly one hour video. Okay. I think that's the chat room. So you know how to send a message and uh, how to broadcast to to more users in the, the chat room uh, I'm going to improve the the features and uh, in make some designs basic designs to to the front end and uh, I think that's long enough for today nearly 15 minutes so okay let's wrap up here have a nice day now I'm sending a message of goodbye to the chat room and uh, see you in the next video thanks give a try and uh, let me know if you have any question let's troubleshoot together if you feel useful remember to thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel thanks see you next time bye bye